chops. To my untrained ear, sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but... Not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. It's all those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. Ooh, mean to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. The jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza's not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Pretty sure they turned your, your great spot into hey. a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. I'm ready. You're dead. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. <laughs> Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. 
Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. I'm not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. I used to uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, Pop. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Johnny, my dear expert, help it chew now. I need a quick rundown of Samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. The crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Fucking hell, Johnny. Why sabotage? Why now? Because it's funny. Because I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist chin. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Let me think. There was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any troubles, Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it. Appreciate it. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka. Same old shit. Different package. Something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but it's changed all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. 